Hello, this is Vampire Jack who is speaking once again, and today's lesson will be on coloring. A uh, DeviantArt member suggested I do a tutorial based on coloring on, on, on Adobe Illustrator. Mind you, this is Adobe Illustrator CS2, so if you have higher versions of Illustrator such as CS3 or CS4, it doesn't really matter. They have the same functions, in my opinion. I can pretty much work in any type of version, so it doesn't really matter. As long as you know the basics, you're alright. So, for today's lesson, it's strictly just color. So, I already have my black and white character here, as you can see. I'm going to drag over my my swatch palette well actually it's not here so what we're going to do is go to the top um, at the toolbar and click window scroll down go all the way down to swatch libraries and then from there we're not going to go to Pantone because Pantone is basically for print I was only doing, doing that for the first demonstration so we're going to go straight to uh, let's pick any color. You can pick any color you want here, any section. I'm just going to choose something like, how about hot? Hot sounds interesting. Mmm, hot's not that great. Okay, hot's not that great. So I'll just click True Match instead, and here is my color palette. This is True Match. Just so you know, if you're looking for other color books, just go straight to Window. Swatch, li swatch libraries and just click whichever section. You have to explore because there's so many um, color books here. I I just wouldn't be able to pick if I were to go to like baby. How about brights? That seems interesting. Mm -hmm. Brights is not that interesting. Oh well. Well, you can just explore. You really don't have to choose what I have. So let's just stick with whatever we have here. Um, I want you to select um, either the direct selection tool or the selection tool. In my opinion, just click direct selection tool and for you to get that you will have to press A on your keyboard. So click that. Let me get the toolbar so you can see it better. Um, it's right here. So watch as I click A it's now going straight to the, the direct selection tool. This is what you want, but you only use this if you want to select certain things. So be careful, you might end up messing things up if you're not too careful with it. So let's just put this on the side for now. Notice that everything's black and white, so if I were to select something here, it'll tell me right here that it's a black stroke. So let's say I don't want a black stroke for my character and I want a totally different color what you can do is you select this just one color for now and then go up here on the toolbar and click view scroll down actually not view sorry not view um, go to select go to same and then go to select Wait, alright, select, same, and stroke color. And what it's going to do is it's going to immediately select every single color that has to deal with that black color stroke. So remember, it's select, same, stroke color. And then you're set. It'll automatically select the entire thing that's black or whatever other stroke color you have. So let's say I want it to be, oh, I don't know, how about brown? I don't really like the browns we have here, but we're just going to have to deal with it for now. And I just select this color here. So now, everything here is brown. Next step. Now we want to color the character. Okay. So what you do is, you tinker around with this option here. Notice this says stroke. Let me just drag this over so you can see it. Notice it says, if I were to put this over, it says stroke. You probably can't read it too well, but when you hover over this palette right here, it's going to say stroke. Then click on this, and it's going to say fill. 
you could press the X button, it says, and it could toggle back and forth. See? So press X if you want to deal with color. Fill is the X button. Stroke is the X button. So let's press X again to go straight to the fill and um, select a, an area that you want to color. So I selected this top here and we're going to color her hair. I'm going, just for the fun of it, I'm just going to select pink. So with your mouse or your pen, select the color from here. and now her hair is pink. Same thing here. Now if you want to get rid of this and so you want to make this white and you don't want this stroke, select these here. Anything that's unwanted, if you don't want a stroke, go straight here. Remember to press X and click this little red, this little white box with a red dash in the middle. It's called None and you click that and it gets rid of it. Instantly you have a gloss. Next, I want the girl to have, you know, skin color. So we select um, the areas that we want. So what you do is, if you want a multiple selection, just hold down the shift key while clicking with your mouse or your pen, ta or with your pen tablet or whatever tool that you have. And now we're going to go up here in the book in the color palette. And, oh, I want to give her a skin color. Let's make her peach. Just like that. Same thing here. Hold down the shift key. Give her whatever color you want. Since it's just a coloring tutorial. I'm not going to do shading in this tutorial. In the next one I will. Uh, multiple select, once again. Um, with whatever color you want by making sure, you have to make sure that whatever you want to color, make sure the object is selected. So while it's selected, you, you can click a button from your swatch palette and presto, you have color. Same thing for this here. And um, give it whatever color you want. Get rid of the stroke. Instant color. If you have unwanted fill, if you have an unwanted fill, people remember, if just go straight to the fill, click none, it's gone. Um, if you don't want a stroke here, do the same thing like I said previously, and presto, you have um, a strokeless color. Um, as for as for what you see here. If you want to move an object, just so I can just show you right here, click and um, use the arrows on your keyboard and it will instantly move. So so there you have it, people. You have a colored character and, oh yes, one more thing, that's right, before I end this, select and go straight to the transparency, as you can see here and click overlay. So now it's not white, it's like a pinkish highlight. So to get transparency, go to window and click transparency and you'll find it. It's already checked because it's already here, but if you can't find it, go to window, go to transparency, click on it, and the window should show up. So that's it everybody. I hope you learned a lot from my lesson today and I look forward to um, tutoring you guys in Illustrator. Well, I guess I can start off with the shading in the next video. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.